Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin with a promise by the president to crack down on underage vaping. There's been a surge in e-cigarette use by teens and a risk in illnesses linked to it. So today the president said that the FDA is developing guidelines to ban those flavored e-cigarettes. Eighty percent of teens who vape say they picked the product because it comes in flavors that they like. Weijia Zhang reports it's personal for Mr. Trump. A lot of people think vaping is wonderful, it's great, it's, it's really not wonderful. President Trump warned parents about a dramatic spike in vaping among young people. New data suggests more than 25 percent of high school students use e-cigarettes. In 2018, 68 percent reported using flavors like bubble gum and cotton candy, which is why Secretary of Health and Human Services Alex Azar said they must be banned. An entire generation of children risk becoming addicted to nicotine because of the attractiveness, appealability, and availability of these vaping products. A generation that includes first son, Baron Trump. And that's how the first lady got involved. And she's got a son together that is a, a beautiful young man, and she feels very, very Strongly about it. She, Azar she, said First Lady Melania Trump is very involved in the process of removing all flavored nicotine from the market, except the tobacco flavor, aimed at smokers trying to quit traditional cigarettes. Ex smoker Mike Stephanie bought blueberry lemonade. I don't want to smoke the flavorless stuff, so I don't think that they should get rid of it just because they think it's for kids. The CEO of Juul, the biggest e-cigarette company in the U.S., says they target consumers like Stephanie, not young people. I'm sorry that their kids are using the product. We never intended for our product to be used by them. Secretary Azar says it will take the FDA several weeks to work out details for a ban on e-cigarette flavors. And if it goes into effect, companies that make flavored products can apply for an exemption to sell them again. But, Nora, they would have to prove a net benefit to public health. Let's see how this all turns out. Weija, thank you. Tonight, two brothers are under arrest in Wisconsin, accused of running what authorities call an empire of illegal drugs, selling black market marijuana vaping cartridges. Now, the brothers, 20 and 23 years old, are accused of selling at high schools across southeast Wisconsin. Authorities seized more than 30,000 vape cartridges and 57 mason jars loaded with THC oil. Now, that's the active ingredient in marijuana. They estimate it's worth one and a half million dollars. The cartridges contain more than 150 times the amount of THC that was listed on the packaging.